Adam, you got to make your Xavier debut last season in this game. And obviously, being a Northern Kentucky kid, you know well about this rivalry. What did playing in it last year, what did you learn about it that maybe you didn't know from just being a casual fan who grew up as a part of it? Yeah, uh, I learned that it's not always in these type of rivalries. It's not always the best team that wins. It's not always the most talented team. But it's just the toughest team, the nastiest team, and the more together team uh, on that night. And we, you know, we were sitting in here and we just heard some uh, some ruckus out there in the Centos Center. Can you tell us what you guys were doing out there, what you were watching? Uh, yeah, they just made us a little hype video to get us ready and uh, pretty much just show us like a bunch of the history of this uh, rivalry and just something to get us hyped up for tomorrow. Jack, you didn't grow up too far away in Newburgh, Indiana. Mm -hmm. What were your were you aware of this rivalry growing up? Was it something that, that you watched and that you knew about, or did you kind of learn about it later? Yeah, it's definitely something, you know, you hear about, you see it as one of the best rivalries in all of, all of sports, and, um, you know, the short trip between the two universities, it's, uh, you know, it's a great rivalry, it's something I'm really excited to play in. Jack, from your time at Iowa, do you recall playing against David DeJulius at all when he was at Michigan? Um, I think a couple games here and there. I know he's a, he's a great player. And for both of you guys, obviously, Adam, you being at Belmont for a little bit, does that match up like against Murray State when you guys had that rivalry kind of build that intensity, let you know what level you have to get to to be ready for this? Uh, yeah, definitely. I would say something like that, just being a part of another big rivalry like that uh, would help me get ready for this. But, I mean, like Jack said, there's nothing like this rivalry. So, uh, Adam, coach was in here, and he called this, and, and Chris Mack used to call this a player's game as well, but Travis just called this a player's game. What, what do you think he means when he calls this game a player's game? Uh, I think he just means like the, this is like this is the time for the players to go show what they do and make it make make their uh, impact on this game and be able to go out there and do what they do and just show everyone that it's a player's game and like this is this is the type of game that any player can have a big night. What do you think, Jack? Yeah, I think he's just um, saying you know he's. Coach Steele is going to do everything he can to prepare us for the game, but he's not going to be the one on the court. We're going to have to go out there and execute the game plan and, uh, you know, take care of business. How much, Jack, do you think home court advantage, and, you know, thinking back to the Ohio State game and the difference the crowd made in that game, how much do you think home court advantage matters in a rivalry game like this? Yeah, I think it, uh, it plays a huge role. It can go both ways, though. You know, some, some teams, they thrive on, you know, the competition, you know, the crowd, and, um, but I think it can definitely help us out a lot. You know, Cintas is one of the best home court advantages in the whole country. And uh, I think that's something that, you know, we could really, um, you know, run off of. You guys have a, a real resource in this game and a guy like Paul Scruggs who's already played in four of these. Um, does, do, you, do you talk to him about this game? Does he speak up and talk to the team? Or there, do, you know, do you have questions for him about what's going to be required on Saturday night? Uh, yeah, I think Paul's a great leader. I mean, Paul, he knows how to get us ready. He knows what to talk, what to tell us. And just, yeah, like you said, him being a vet and having this, what, his fifth, fifth cross-town shootout, he's definitely going to know how to get us ready and know what to say. Coach kind of talked about it earlier, but for you guys as players, how do you prepare for a guy like Mikey Saunders, kind of their X factor, come off the bench, change the pace kind of guard? How do you prepare for a guy like that? Yeah, it just starts, you know, every day in practice, you know, locking into the scouting report, watching the film that – uh, the coaches show us and, you know, executing in the drills that try to simulate what, what he'll do on the court. Mm -hmm. Adam, you grew up in Northern Kentucky. What are your first memories or any memories you have of Crosstown Shootout? What players do you remember? Do you remember any of these rivalry games growing up? Uh, I just remember going with my dad to a couple of them and just just seeing the atmosphere when I walk in the, the arena is just it's, – it's like nothing else. Like being – being able to be a fan in that atmosphere and now having the chance to be a player and ha be able to have an impact in the game is, is, is amazing. Uh, Dante Jackson played in the game. He's on the staff. I don't know if he's got the scout or not, but uh, I think he did last year. Uh, is his perspective valuable? Yeah, uh, you no, know, you, you always take, you know, in games like this, you take any information you can get about, you know, what type of atmosphere it's going to be, you know, what type of energy you guys are going to bring. And I think you just have to, you know, take it all in and just try to give it all your all. Do you guys have any fam familiarity with these guys from the offseason? Did you guys train it with these guys at the Smith League or any of those other open runs? Uh, yeah, we're, I'm familiar with a, a few of them. So, so does that make, does that kind of intensify the rivalry a little bit? Uh, I'd say so. I'd say so for sure, yeah. Um, 
I think you guys both have pretty big families. Will will they be here tomorrow night for this one? Oh yeah, yeah. everyone's yeah, gonna, everyone's gonna <laughs> no. come out to this one. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks, guys. Thank yep, you. Guys. Thank you. Yep.